The world's just built up on pressure. It's going to blow up one of these days. The world built full of pressure and the doctors don't know what to do about it. The psychiatrist has got psychiatrist doctor name. It's right. They don't have the answer. But God does. Right. Amen. God has the answer to all of this. In the Old Testament, when a man had did something wrong, now it was tooth for tooth and eye for eye. And if this man did something wrong, he had a place of escape. Uh, I believe Joshua had built houses of refuge. And if the people did something wrong and they were subject to be killed, but they had a place of refuge where this man could run to this city of refuge and he was safe if his pursuers didn't overtake him before he got there. He, but if the pursuers overtook him, they, they killed him in the way. But if he got there, and if he had did this crime not willingly, and could plead his case, and show that he, he was sorry that he did it, then he could be brought into this city of refuge, and the pursuers could not enter the city. No, he, had, he was safe. What a feeling that must have been. Hallelujah. To know that you did something that, that was wrong. And you know it was wrong, but there is a place Amen. where you won't have to worry no more. Go into this place and are safe. Now, if the man willfully did it, oh, then he, had to, he, he couldn't come in. If he had willfully committed a murder, his trial was tried at the gate. And that's, but the man who wanted and had not willfully did it, it's like I'd give a type of it. If a man's done wrong and he really wants, he, he's sorry that he sinned, there is a place of refuge. Yes, amen. But if he just don't care, then there's no place for him because he won't accept it. It's done mean and he wanted to. No um, chance for them and that's the same as it is today. And then the thing was, if he had did wrong, he must want a place of refuge. Yes. He must want to be there. And that's a very good type of the church today and the people. A man's got to want a place of refuge. Yes, amen. You've got to feel your need of it. Amen. But if you think amen. you want to fight your own battles, go ahead. See? But you're sure to be caught by your pursuers. But someday it's going to find you. But if you want a place, and then when the man wanted a place and found a place, he must be willing to stay there. Amen. You don't go out no more. Amen. You stay there. Amen. Then you're safe while you're there. Hallelujah. Oh, what a relief that must have been. Amen. To find a place as soon as you enter the gates and the gates close behind you, I'd be satisfied. <laughs> yes, sir, he must... Want to stay there. No complaining. Walk around saying, oh, why did they ever come in here? Now, that's just the way people does today. They say they want to be free from uh, the cares of the world. And then they get in to the, amongst the believers. And then they say, now, if I'm going to have to give this up, if I'm going to have to do that, if I'm going to have to pay tithings, if I'm going to have to do these and this other thing, how... Oh, my, what a... See, then that man complaining was put back out again. Amen. Shift for yourself. But if he was... He must be satisfied and no complaining. Oh, how I love to say this. I never wanted to go out no more. Oh, it's heaven to me to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus with men and women who fled for their life from the things of the world and anchored their soul Amen. in a haven of rest. Oh, what a fellowship. Oh, what joy divine. Leaning on His everlasting arm. Pressure all gone. Not scared of nothing. Amen. For I'm safe in Christ. He is a mighty tower. 
The righteous run into him and are safe. He's a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. What a place to be. I, I see nothing to complain about. Hallelujah. The only complaint I have is, why didn't I do it a long time before I did? I waited till I was about 19, 20 years old. I ought to 